fascinating to see how the visiting Warriors line up against a top team. Their defence has been dramatically improved throughout the off-season. This Warriors outfit conceding 12, 12, 12 and 14 points in their first four games. And it's great to showcase the Warriors in Sunday footy against the Sharks down here in the Shire. Rain has been pouring across the most part of Sydney today, but somewhat peculiarly. There hasn't been all that much down in the Shire, although they've lost the ball early here, the Warriors. It is a little bit greasy out there, and we see a turnover oh, on the dead. second tackle of the game. And Cronulla with a gift-wrapped opportunity now. Right in front of the post they play it. Here's Hamlin Uele. Tackled by Morata Niokore. And a chance here for Wilton. Oh, yes, oh, dear, boys. Wait there, wait. Couldn't oh, get there. through Hold. the Warrior goal line wall. Bailey and Hamlin Uele once Bring again. Here, boys, back foot. Wait here, wait. A tackle made there by Jas Tavanga, who's starting at lock now. Moylan with a dummy, tries to duck inside of his former teammate, Sean Johnson. Up now, right straight. An early test for this renewed Warriors defensive line and Hines's pass was out in front of Toby Rudolph. Last one, Jackson. They've got Straight to tackle down. five. And Nico with a kick out towards the wing. It's gone backwards. Talakai gives it to Wilton and he burrows over for a slow motion try, but a try nonetheless. Well, it's never easy attacking the goal line in the first minute of the play. You kick off and all of a sudden you've got the ball five metres out from the line. A Suzu D-Max replay. Warriors defence was terrific. And then all of a sudden a fifth tackle kick across field, a couple of offloads and they burrow their way in. Hardly seems fair, does it? But again, Nico Hines, look at the accuracy of this. Up for Mulatalo, gets the leap, knocks it back. Talakai, good strength, the ability to unload. Chief Wilton muscles his way into the end goal. Well, they spend a set of six playing off the hooker. I think they were just getting used to having the ball themselves. The Sharks getting themselves ready. Nico only come involved on the second last tackle, threw an offload, then come across with the pinpoint kick. Molotalo caused a nuisance in the corner. Thankfully, the ball went backwards. Talakai, Teague Wilton, just watch how he used his body. He nearly scored a try a couple of tackles earlier by hitting the half and spinning. There's some athletic, not only outside backs, but back rolls as well. So what a way to celebrate a 50th NRL game. Teague Wilton, the opening try scorer, and Nico Hines, who did not miss a beat in his return from a calf injury last week. He's kicked this, it swings back, and over it goes off the post. winless here at Points Bet Stadium in the Shire since uh, 2015 and not the, the start they were hoping for here. A mistake Everybody. and the Sharks capitalise. A try to Wilton, 6-0. And Fanukin. He's only lost once to the Warriors in his entire career. He's played them 16 times before today for 15 wins. This ground looks absolutely beautiful, the playing surface out there. It's been drizzling rain and a little bit of breeze all afternoon, but looks in great shape. They're backpedalling here, and Nikora through a hole. He throws a kick in. It bounces off a warrior. Kennedy's got it back. And the Sharks are playing at breakneck speed here. The Warriors are struggling to keep up. They are in sync. Hamlin ULA shrugs away from the tackle of Nia Kore. But he's held by Tavanga. 
They send it right through Hines and Rudolph, who's been playing in that wide running role in the first a couple of sets. Put down 10 out, just to the right of the posts. Hines goes himself. Oh, we've had another tackle count re-trigger. Making heavy weather of this, the Warriors. Rudolph. Stand, Bunny. Hold here, boys. Wait, back foot. Go. The Shark is looking for try number two in their second venture down this end of the ground. Kennedy Talakai Mulatalo. Well, Warriors, welcome to Cronulla. The game's only a couple of minutes old and already scored two tries. They've dropped the ball on tackle two in their only possession. It's all been sharp. Moved early on with the ball. He had the ball in hands and he slowed everything down, knowing that he's got real speed and, and, and leg speed on the outside. And it just it stopped the Warriors in their tracks. Warriors stopped moving forward and were caught out. He's kicking from the same spot as last time. And that one doesn't hit the steelwork. It's straight over the black dot. Five tries in five games this year for Ronaldo Mulatalo. The Warriors conceded 12 points in their first three games. That's the whole 80 minutes. They're 12-0 down after six oh! and a half minutes here. Jackson, Let's go down. to Paul Gallon sideline. Well, I was going to ask you about the conditions. They don't really matter for the Sharks. Way they up. are flying. They are. It doesn't matter at the moment. But uh, there has been showers. Obviously, it's been nine millimetres of rain since this morning. There is a uh, wind from the northeast at 18 kilometres an hour. But look, I know this Bermuda Triangle. I reckon that the rain will clear. I think it will fine up, certainly in the second half. And the Sharks will be able to go on and have a good game. They love moving the footy. And the more they move the footy, the more they'll tie the Warriors out today. Thanks, Cal. The second most popular man here today, Paul Gallant. Nico's got past Hines with a kick. Well, he's incredible, Nico, the way he plays. And you're sitting from up high watching him. He involves every single Cronulla player in every tackle. He just moves from side to side and gives them so much width, which makes it very hard to defend. On the verge of signing a bumper extension to his contract, too. Uh, apparently, Nico Hines, that would make him the highest paid player in this club's history. What an asset he is to this club and the game. Chance Nickel Krusta. Well, the Warriors have just got to settle down and ignore the scoreboard. Get into the game as though it's just started and not let the scoreboard get into their heads. Johnson's high kick lands safely with Kennedy. He's had a remarkable start to the season himself. Five tries in the opening four rounds. Two try assists, 13 tackle busts. Oh, Nico. Went back. No, it didn't. It's hard over the ground here. Yeah. He tried to give him the benefit of the Where'd doubt. Where'd you like here, it? Pulled it up Middle. at the okay. last minute. Clock's so on. a mistake for Cronulla and an opportunity for the Warriors. Now, here's a chance to hit right back straight away. And this would do the Warriors a world of good if they could just post points right now. Mm. Just to settle down that opening blitz. 
Johnson is behind the scrum, directly behind the scrum. He can go left or right. They're wide to the left. Chance is behind him. He was back to his best form last week, Sean Johnson. Here he is now, sweeping around the back of Nickel Kluestar. He beat the tackle of Talakai, and he steps away from Kennedy. But assistance came. Talakai came back and wilted from the scrum. Ball sent over to Johnson. Now to Vanga. Vanukin and Hamlin Uele. Drop him to ground within four metres of the line. Wade Egan, captain of the Warriors today. And the ball to Jackson Ford. Hines around the legs. Nikora, the further reinforcement. It goes to Johnson. Now Adam Fanua Blake. Rugged, powerful, hard to bring down. Johnson across the line. Here's Ronald Volkman, the 20 year old, offloading at the back. Now it's with Bunty Afoa. Teague now! Sharks defence steadfast so far. And Johnson for near Corre. Last one, Toby! So they've had jumpers oh, right yeah, around oh, everyone who's taken them on with the ball so far on this set. Johnson with a kick in the air. Ball tapped back. Volkman. An offload now. Jackson Ford. Ford put down by Hines. And that is impressive stuff by Grenoble. Yeah, nice buddy. and controlled from the Warriors. No sense of panic in their play. But great defence from the Sharks. Shows that they can do it both sides of the ball. Brilliant in attack, but also they're pretty stoic in defence as well. They throw some at you, the Warriors. There's people moving everywhere off the ball. They're organised. They know what they're doing. I don't know if I want to be giving them too many errors as they did in their last set of six, the Sharks. Grayley, that's lovely subtlety. And uh, what about this for a run? Hamlin Uele. Powerful charge by the front rower. Hines with a kick. Nickel Kluster. He got some help by uh, Montoya, who acted as a human shield for him. Oh, he's gone through himself here. Nickel Kluster. Now Montoya, he is the yardage king of this Warriors team. Averaging 193 a game so far, and a couple of hauls of over 200 running metres from the back. Now to Vanga, and now Johnson. And the ball goes to Adam Pompey. If you look at all their outside backs, man, they're all six foot two, six foot three. They look identical. They're weapons. Yeah. Their power. And Johnson, he provides the finesse. He was probably the difference last week, wasn't he, in that game against the Dogs. A try, try assist, line break. 20 tackles, didn't miss one. He was right up for the challenge. Of course, he, he's a former Shark. Played three seasons here, 44 games. He was their player of the year in 2020. I was speaking to Stacey Jones before, and we're talking about Sean Johnson. And on the other side, he'll say now he's got his defence in order and getting aggressive, tackling at his shoulder. There's a Ceramian. They're favouring attacking to that right-hand side. Warriors' left-hand side defence so far. Pumped a few holes through there. Just over the halfway now. Ball played by Moylan. And Fanukin's been busy. Here's Kennedy up from the back. Oh, that was a chance. If that stuck, Ed Corsi was away. Yeah, he read that well. Dale, Dale. Whether or not Kennedy would play short or long, he probably wasn't sure, but he gets his, he's up there. At least he's up there. When you're up there, you're a chance. They actually defended that pretty well, the Warriors. And unlucky not to pick six off. Yeah, they didn't panic. The Cronulla boys were running sideways, and it looked like Pompey had his man and also and had the winger covered as well. That's the perfect intercept position. Ten seconds. Hold them, mate. Wait there. Chance, here we go. Let's go to Gow. Yeah, boys, you can see how quick the Sharks fall into shape there. They don't have anything planned, but they can see how many defenders they have in front of them. They fall straight into a certain shape, a little block out of the back, create a three on two situation, and uh, could have been a try at either end there. Oh, uh, 
Like uh, Tola has copped a bit of a whack. All accidentally got up having a push with Jazz Tavanga. Now Moylan. Sean Spice. That's the 20 metre line. This is Blake Braley. This is Dal Finucane. This is Braden Hamlin ULA. So more good ball here for the Sharkies. Nico Hines, they've got them stripped again. And it's Katoa this time. Wonderful stuff by the Sharks. What confidence they are playing with. Yeah, but they play with good depth. And what they do is they fan out. Brad Fittler highlighted this on the, the second try that they scored. Watch how they're nice and narrow. Isuzu, MUX replay. And they're virtually running towards the sideline. And as the defence backs away and gets in two minds, they're just too quick. They're too quick with their hands. They're too quick with their thinking. And, of course, with their leg speed, they can take advantage of the overlap. What the Sharks do is they don't line up across the field. They compress in the middle. They get the defence to stand still. And then they just beat them for speed and skill on the outside. And the Azuzu MUX replay. Also, the tackle before, Nico Hines was on the left-hand side holding the Warriors' defence, knowing he was going to be on the right-hand side in two tackles time. The ball went through a couple of forwards' hands to the right, and Will Kennedy was actually out the back. The forward played the ball, and all of a sudden, Nico had Will with him. With all those players in fan, I think Gal on the sideline. Yeah, boys, you Gus mentioned, you see how far infield their backs stand, which create a lot of uh, a space on the outside when they go out there. And all the back row leading inside the halfback for the Warriors. He holds him and creates a throw on to out the back. With, uh, with the fullback out the back of it. So, Sione Katoa, 69th game today, 49th try. It's a heck of a strike rate. And Hines has kicked another one. You've got to stem the bleeding here. That's much easier said than done when you're up against a side like this. They're a juggernaut at the moment. Well, you're not going to defend to the Sharks by sitting back on your heels and just That's allowing them right time and space right. to get their speed up. Right. It's kind of like a slingshot effect. You feel as though they're moving slow, but the outside backs just get this momentum going and you find yourself outnumbered really quickly. How high do you rate this back line, Brad? This Cronulla back line. Right here, right here, Jess, Jess. When they have the ability to move the ball pretty much all over the field. Have a look at the people in motion here. There's tackle three coming out of trouble. Here's Kennedy, and a chance here as Ramian tries to bustle through them. And Hines, look at that, he goes back to it. All started, brilliant play, Katoa. Bumped out of one tackle. Ball comes back to Ramian. Last words, boys, here, boys, here. Make it, make it. See, they're a joy to watch when they're on song like this. Not for the Warriors. Hines, he's kicking for Mulatalo. He's got a run up. It goes backwards off Mulatalo, and Johnson's there now. But oh, it's a penalty. Yeah, he's, off he's offside. Yeah, he's he's off offside. I've got it as a contest. And you know what? I think part of him's relieved <laughs> because he had a hundred metres to run. Yeah, I've got it as a contest. Go. <laughs> Little history of hamstring problems. Again, pinpoint accurate from Hines. Pinpoint accurate. Mm. The right height, the right depth. And Mulatalo's challenge as well. Going for two, Derek. Now the Sharkies are going to take the two and go to 20 nil. So pleasing for this large crowd here that the weather has held off and the Sharkies are keeping pace with the clock, Gus. Yeah, well, the crowd's increased since kickoff. 
I think after the first couple of minutes, they all got on their mobile phones and said, get down here and watch this. So they've come from the, the local community. Yep. Way time you're right, mate. Well, the DJ here's got an evil sense of humour because he's he's played you can't touch this in the break, and the Warriors can't get a glove on Cronulla at the moment. 20 nil. Oh, release! Well, the coach of the Warriors has gone to the bench, Dylan Walker. He's been playing as the front row. A bunny of foa came off. Stand our way. He's looking for a bit more speed around the middle when that ball's moving. The ability to adjust. Space. Well, interesting if the Sharks just come through the middle now and take the smaller men on. Hines the conductor and Moylan away to the powerhouse, see for Talakai. And Wilton, that's a strong shot. Walker was the main man there along with Fenua Blake. Back for Nico Hines. That made a thud off the boot and good take, Nickel Clustar in the conditions. Oh, it might have been a high tackle. Oh. Yeah, it was. Hey, Zeke, can you have a look at this, mate? It was a lazy one. I don't think there's any harm done. Bye, mate. Moylan just throws yeah. his right arm out. <laughs> okay, mate. Just a little lazy. It sort of bounced up a little bit off the ball. Well, that'll get him down the field. It was mainly secondary contact rather than... Direct contact with the head. And again, as I said earlier, the Warriors have just got to ignore the scoreboard. Try and get into a rhythm with their game. Try and dominate a bit of possession for a while. Win some penalties, win some line dropouts. It's hard here at the Bermuda Triangle, though. Teams come here in great form and you never see them again. They just get lost. Team buses have gone missing in the show. Mm. He's uh, Wade Egan. He scored three tries in his three games so far this year. I don't know where they go. Vockman. Somewhere in the show, there's a collection of dead team buses. What about the players? They're just in a big paddock somewhere. I hope they're empty. And Johnson across the line. Last one, Toby, locking down. Left side, here. Milking, Rudolph. Milking. Go. All over him there. Here's Volkman. Yeah, yeah. With a kick for the winger to make a jump at. That's gone forward. Oh, for Newell, it's, 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 it's a try. Oh, yeah. This will be, It's Egan. He's got four in four games. Yeah. That is precisely what the Warriors needed. Yeah, well, the beauty of the crossfield kick. Produces a lot of tries in our game these days. Produced the first one for the Cronulla Sharks. But it was Volkman who named... Got this right on the, uh, the good point. Knocked back by Montoya and Wade Egan ever present. Isuzu MUX replay. Nice try for the Warriors. That'll give them a little bit of confidence. Hey, well, you'll worry about the buses. The Warriors haven't been worried about the scoreboard either. Nothing what they did in that set of six showed any panic. They still look as dangerous as they did in the first set. It's got to learn to stop some tries, and this could be a competitive afternoon. Wade Egan. What's that? Five in four games, is that right? Four in four. Four in yeah. four. A try a game this year for the hooker. Yes, Gal? That was a falcon from Siona Katoa, so he never quite got his hands to it, hit his head and bounced back. But we saw Toby Rudolph let the ball go. Now, I know Sharks have the attitude just defend your line, defend another set. So you saw his reaction after he didn't catch the ball. He was terribly upset with himself. Uh, and I'm sure Fitzy will remind him about that on Monday. You see the ball went straight past him and you watch him... He falls to the ground here, and uh, he's very upset with himself. He knows he should have grabbed hold of that one.
Is it sitting okay at the moment? Three, yeah. two. Yeah. Warriors captain today, Wade Egan. Lithgow product. Played for the Panthers. And he's been sensational for the Warriors since moving across the Tasman. Ball taken by Nickel Kloostar. And back comes Adam Fanua Blake. And the, the goal for the Warriors now is that they have to be next to score. It doesn't matter if it takes another half an hour. They've really got to stiffen up their defence a little bit, keep controlling the ball, and set themselves the goal that will be next to score. Well, we're 24 minutes into the game, and the second half they also should have the, the breeze with them. Sean johnsons he's spent three years at the Sharks, so he'll know how to use that. Here's Tavunga. And Johnson, fourth tackle. Kicks in behind Sione Katoa. This kick, kick is going to... It'll pull up just before the goal line, but look at the wall of warrior jumpers. Well, that doesn't look like the chase of a team that's intimidated. And spirit of defence here on Kennedy. And the Sharks won't want to underestimate them either. The Sharks are thinking he's going to let them sit back and play football all day. They'll be in for a rude shot. He's done a guy. Brought on the same day as Will Kennedy. And Talakai are playing his 68th game today. And Kennedy's playing his 67th. With a freakish symmetry. Here's uh, Montoya. Here too from Fanukin and Rudolph. Will, Will Kennedy is the son of Bubba Kennedy, isn't he? Yep. Who did Bubba play for, Bradley? Play for the Tigers. Right. He was a nuggety little half, wasn't he, Bubba? Fullback, was he? Play the center, he? Fullback and center. Pretty fair player, too. Fanua Black, he's pulling through tackles there. He's a very capable offloader as well. Johnson. Corsi chasing. Pompey there too. But, oh. It's a waste of time kicking in the air to this bloke. Yeah, but they've got it. They're nine metres out from yeah. their own goal, Cronulla, so not the worst oh, result. Some, some interchanges here Go now down. with McInnes going out to replace Dale Fanukin. Oh, big shot! It's high. Ten metres. Oh, no, oh. it's not. They're offside. Ten metres. That uh, was a jolting tackle, Ten. which forced the error, but they, they were off too early. That's a hard call, I've got to say. The new chorus slipped up Might into the head anyway, well. so... Yeah. Very similar to Matt Moylan's penalised tackle earlier. Here's Ronaldo. Sean! Straight there. Hold it, boys. Wait. Okay, well done, mate. Jazz up! Wait straight! Hold it, boys. Make it. Cam McInnes, the workhorse. And Rudolph. <laughs> Who's the Ronald Bowman? Doctor here. Okay. Ronald has been asked to leave the field for a head assessment. Ronald Volk. Three, Tavy, just right there, mate. Ronald Volkman, HIA. We're not sure when it was. I saw Wade Egan in that tackle where the penalty was given. He sort of come out of it with a bit of a holding his head. I think Ronald seems as confused as, as us. Yeah, just wait there. All right, we'll scour the tapes to try and find where that might have occurred. Okay. Uh, meantime, Buddy Siren has gone out there. Dylan off the ball! Lucan, 11 metres out now. Now, each time Cronulla's had field position like this, they've scored so far. The Warriors have a job to stop them. Hines, Kennedy! Oh, gee. Slices through with ease. Well, you, you can't stop them with that defence that sits back. 
You just can't wait for Cronulla because they're moving too quick. Watch again on the inside. The first couple of players... Cars have recognised that the left-hand edge of the Warriors is very, very weak. They are very passive in defence. They just hang back, let the Sharks play whatever they want. We saw on the right-hand side of the field, at least the Warriors' defence got in the, the line of sight of the Sharks' players. So when they threw that ball, they almost intercepted it, but they, they, they snuffed out the play. On that left-hand side of the field, they're so passive, they're just waiting back to let the Sharks play and do whatever they want. They can't do that. They've almost got to leave the winger open and just jam the Sharks. Just try something different because it's very, very passive at the moment. The Sharks having a field day. Absolutely, the winger. The winger should, the winger or centre should just be lining up the half, swinging around, and I'd be going very early. Just put some pressure on. Well, there's no speed. Stop line. the ball. You've got, you've got to challenge the Paul Vlakers to play earlier, and that gives you people in the time to, to win some ground and take a little bit of a time and space off the opposition. A sixth try for the no, year the left side. for Will Kennedy. 26-6 to six as a sideline to how okay, well Nico Hines is playing. Adam. How beautifully does he strike the ball when he kicks for goal? It's, it's like it's all in slow motion. He he's, kicking, he's kicking has improved so much too. He obviously works hard on his game. He obviously Leave works hard on opposition teams. I, I, no, I don't know for sure, but it just... You can't do what he does without Ernie brilliant Neal. preparation in all Jackson parts of his game. He is the goal-kicking equivalent of Ernie Elves. He come through that just behind that generation of Cooper Cronk and Billy Slater and oh. all those blokes in Melbourne that just took professionalism to an to another level. Walker's Dylan Walker. in real trouble here. I feel, feel, like injuries, he's knee, oh, no. I feel like he's had knee injuries before. Oh, it's his own teammate. His own teammate will hyperextend his, his left leg. What's this? Oh, his mate oh. comes in underneath and hyperextends his left leg. You see it more from the behind shot. Not that we want to see it again. Says to Vunga. Yeah. He looks like one of those players, Jazz. You never want to be in a tackle with. He comes flying in. What's this? What's the number 14? What's his left knee? Jazz to Vunga comes in down underneath. Bang. Oh. That's, uh, that's not a good look. So, Volkman off for HIA, and now this. Uh, Telstra are celebrating Winyama Digital Solutions during round five of the 2023 NRL Telstra Premiership. I was talking to Craig Fitzgibbon yesterday at Henson Park. We went out there for the reserve grade game between the Sharks or Newtown and um, the Bulldogs. It was a tribute day to Ken Wilson who passed away the great Newdown player Ken Wilson who passed away during the off season I said your team's going good he said yeah I've just got to tone them down a little bit they get too excited then attack he said I don't think I'll have any luck though I will say again mate just leading 26 to 6 I don't think he's gonna have much luck toning them down anyway warrior with a chance to hit back All right, we'll hold it too as the sun peaks through right in Wade right in mate Wade hit him mate okay, put him mate Break! Valley Sirenen feeds the scrum and challenges Nicol Klusta. 32 points in 29 minutes. Amazing. He's Walker. He's, He's right, okay. Walker. He's okay. Stand now. Bring it back, Will. Now Tom Arle in 17, the replacement player. Walker first receiver. Short to Tavanga. Is there a Sean Johnson nice. trick shot or a bit of magic coming here? Here he is now. Feeds it to uh, Marata Niakore, and they are back in business again. Well, it all starts from the dummy half here. Have a look at the pass 
from Wade Egan. He finds Sean Johnson. Have a look at the dummy half, Wade Egan. Off the, t out in front, running onto it. Matt Moylan, looking at all those bl dark blue jerseys in the background. He just wasn't watching the right one. And Azuzu MUX replay, knee Cora, breaks the tackle. He's a big mobile back row, isn't he, Gus? He certainly is, and he's good at this. He's really good at footwork at the line, hitting the hole right. He's got a great sense of timing. It's timing. It's giving your playmaker time to do something for you to allow the defender to make a mistake. And if you watch there, Johnson, he just gets Moylan interested in something else, and Moylan will just veer out, bang, runs away, and then all of a sudden he's hit him. Johnson is just watching the feet of Moylan, seeing where Moylan's at. And as soon as Moylan decides he wants to look outside, bang, takes his inside shoulder off and hits Neocore. Neocore, to his credit, doesn't overrun it. He, he gives his halfback time. That's really important as well. When you're ready, Blake. Time to run here. So Murata Miyakore joined the Warriors at the start of this year from Parramatta, of course. And here's Tom Arley. So if Cronulla oh! has exposed the Warriors when they've been down on their line. You can actually say the same in reverse because the Warriors have really only had possession deep inside Cronulla's territory twice and they've come away with two tries. Yeah, one of those was a crossfield kick. And that's the first time they've really breached the, the, the front defensive line. And that would be a target area. Most teams target around Matt Moylan because he can make a, a wrong decision. He can fall off a tackle. Give his space. Here, boys, here, front foot. So they've, they've, they've just got to get the next one now. Mm. Get themselves to get Cronulla nervous, so Cronulla maybe do tone it down a little bit. It's been the trend this weekend. Johnson inside his 40. Look at that end of the breeze. He'll be smiling in the second half. If you go through the week, 48 points in the first game, Thursday night, Roosters and Para. Panthers scored 53. 64 points scored at Mudgee. 46 by the Broncos. It's so all we'll try score in this round. If you're playing, Brad, with the benefit of this breeze, what would you be happy conceding in terms of points in the first half? Is, is it worth something on the scoreboard a breeze like this? Absolutely. If you use it smartly. Um, given Sean Johnson's experience, here we go out to this right inside again. And here's the slingshot and Ramian. Oh, he's being dragged. He got it back and Katoa dived on it. That's quick thinking. Yeah, the Warriors had to dive on that. He knew it was coming. Here's a kick. Here's Mulatalo. He's come infield to contest this. Hines sends it up. It's been dropped. He's offside again. Can you, can you just take he dropped it take the under the pressure from Mulatalo and there's a penalty right he's in front of the through. posts. And it's an underestimated part of his game, Mulatalo, is his energy and his enthusiasm and he just chases everything. He wants to be in the game. Look, he's got himself infield now. He knows where the kick's going to land. He'll get a check in running. He gets around him and he's, he's just up there harassing. Well, I think he's in Corsi's head because straight away Corsi just wanted to retaliate somehow. He's frustrated. Give his space. Here's Jack Williams. Oh, they're, oh, they're, all got, they're all out of the right, they've Matt. They've got to defend this, haven't they? Now here's the hulking Royce Hunt. He's a metre out. Ford, Back the defender, oh, and some yeah. help from oh. Sirenen. McKinnis linking with Hines. Steps in, beats one. Tavunga came Go again. Now, oh, dear, That's three oh, tackles oh, used. They've got all sorts of shape and structure here. Cronulla, a kick from Moylan in behind them, and it's tapped over the back. That's smart from Moylan. They were all going around that side because they all want to get in on the action, and it just wasn't working for them. So he thought, rather than rush anything, I'll just dribble this into the end goal, and we can come back and get it right the next time. They were never quite in sync that set, were they? 
you could just see that they were eating up the tackles and not getting it right. Time and Moylan said, all right, well, in the middle there, Sean. give us the, the ball one. back and we'll come back and do it properly this time. Now Johnson will go short. Got to watch the breeze. It's gone 10. It's actually gone 20. And Hines high above them. It was his days playing fullback for the Storm. Ramian works towards the posts. There's only five minutes left in the half. It's gone fast. A pick up and a run here by Braley. He thought one of the markers might have been square. Doesn't get a re-trigger. McInnes sends a floater for Moylan. And Williams now. Four tackles down. They're setting up for something outright. That's the way they go. Hines, Moylan, Kennedy, Ramian. Ramian goes close. I think, oh, how did, has he not got the ball on the line? Has he? Check this. You've got to check it. Has so he? Oh, boy. You've got to have scored. Surely it's touched the line. Good tackle five. Yep. Maybe it's touched after he settled. Around him, mate. I think he's short, but as Ben just said, they seem to have control of the tackle. It's Montoya up high. Sirenen comes across. Oh. The contact from the defenders is clear. This stage, Jesse Ramian maintains possession. And we can see here the tackle is complete and he is short of the line. We have a decision. Okay, last play. Now, where's Ronaldo? Hold it, hold it. No, no, Jesse, the hold. Middle. They've set him back out to the wing. Jesse, wait, mate. Look at deep trainer off. The, 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 Ronaldo Mortalo is near the 40 metre line here. Look at this. Go. They're going to go through the hands. Moylan in behind them. That's why they want a Ronaldo out there. Nickel Kluster, no chance. Perfect. Are you ready again? Perfect. Brought the defenders up. Kick in behind. There's only two results. Try or get the ball back. They're doing it beautifully. That was a great play. The deeper you get, the further defence has to come off their try line. If you can find some space for a kick, mm. they need again, to Sean turn around and chase 20 metres back to the line. All right. A great play. Johnson Short wants the ball again. back here. Yeah. Oh, he's got it. 10. It's gone through. The, what a catch. That is a, a special take there by Katoa around his ankles. Well, it went through Pompey's hand. Yeah. Oh, the Warriors are under all sorts of pressure here. This is immense pressure. Time. Four minutes left in the half. Oh, Nikora came absolutely screaming onto that. What a tackle. It's like a missile. Oh. <laughs> High tackle. High contact, mate. Well, I don't know who it was. Just the arm he was going that hard, you'd have to hit him in the head to stop him. <laughs> <laughs> he was blind. He was blind. He was He got penalised as well. <laughs> McKinnis for Williams, they couldn't possibly keep him out here. Hold! Release Murata! They haven't got it, quite got it right the last couple of sets. Oh, there you go. There's a reward for the Warriors. They've been very dogmatic. Yeah. That's good in defence. Hey, Wade, Wade, where do you want to... They defended a couple okay, of slingshots. Well, in the middle, Cronulla. A couple of six agains, a couple of line dropouts. Yeah, head on. Just click and they've him, kept the score at 14 oh, no, the deficit. Falling. So that's a, a that's a winning period there for the Warriors. And the Sharks might have been getting bored passing out to the right hand side, line. scoring tries in that corner. Same again, Wade. They went for the trick Real. shot. Hold Royce Hunt's just come onto the field and not long on. Wait for it. Should never get bored. Hold it. Let's go. Get him, mate. Get him. Clock off. Put him, mate. Break! Well, for the Warriors fans, you, you've seen the the reinvented Warriors mentality there. There's been Warriors teams of the past that, that would have shirked that, and now they get a penalty. All right, now we're only two and a half minutes from the break. Warriors have got there, a mate, penalty. Mark's there, Sean. There's a big set of six. Mm. Right here, Jack. Emma, breaking news from you. Yeah, Ronald Volkman has passed his HIA. He's just run back onto the field. Okay. I'm sure it was a case of mistaken identity. Ronald Lockman had no idea what they were talking about. It had to be. 
So the bloke, the bloke they missed is still out. <laughs> he hasn't been checked. No. Here he is, Volkman. Oh, at least he's had the batteries recharged. Oh, the ball's oh, come dear. out. Dear, oh dear. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, Nico, no. you blew the whistle. Come back, Nico. Come back, Nico. You ought to knock on there. Yeah. Tell us, tell us. He's going that good at the moment, they might award that. <laughs> Just wait there, the captain's down there. No, the captain's down there, mate. They want to challenge it. They're saying to Nico, can you challenge it from down there? He said, yeah, challenge it. The captain's down there, mate. Referee said, you can't have a captain's challenge. The challenge is in the next postcode. Nico's way down there. He signalled. Gee. Nico didn't know what they were talking about. He just waved to them. Nico Absolutely, mate. Yep. Challenging the ruling of a knock-on. <laughs> Whatever you want, he said. I understand that, Dylan, so he can't... He's just signalled from there, mate, OK? <laughs> we're just using signals now. He was just, just waving. It. Well, there's Royce Hunt. At this point, Royce Hunt is just making a tackle. Yep. And the ball comes free. We just need to see which direction the ball travels. So do they award a try if he's... Like I said, Nico's going that good at the moment. This could be a try. Well, they blew the whistle, so they'll say the defence stopped. So Royce Hunt is just making a tackle. It's a loose carry from Jackson Ford, and the board travels forward. The challenge is successful. Yeah, mate. Really got them. So it should have been a try. Yep. Position, mate. Okay. I think just like Position. when Royce Hunt had the trick shot down line the line... Mark. Uh, Young Volkman, that was his first play. Went for a short pass. Down the middle. Put a real lot of pressure. A lot of pressure on the Warriors because player. Because they've got a call, mate. So if we call a knock on, we call Ford a knock come up with I understand the error. What you've run down there, but I've called that. Yeah, mate. So just, just for clarification, there, in those circumstances where... Um, where a player runs away like that. If the, re if the referee has blown his whistle yep. and and there is a challenge, that, they're calling that a mutual infringement. So the ball comes back and we start again. Now, I don't think the whistle would have stopped that try being scored, but anyway, that's the rule. Well, if the Warriors with the ball there was an important set, this is even more important because Cronulla are hunting up here. They're 35 metres out. Well, it's an opportunity they shouldn't have got. And here they come. He's Hines. The slingshot. Ramian. Oh, there's plenty of Warriors over there. I'd like to see them do a slingshot to the other side. Warriors have having to defend that for a while. Hines nearly through. He is through. He beats one, two. Doesn't beat the fullback. And Royce Hunt rips and tears. Last tackle. We've got 35 seconds until half time. Hines, you're going to kick for Ronaldo. And he's up against Corsi. Well taken. He's down, he's down. They've survived another assault. Oh, oh there. Look at these two. <laughs> Gotta say, Ronaldo Mulatalo is very entertaining. He's a beauty. Yeah. First saw him play when okay, he was no, a we'll teenager, 15 or 16. We're going back here. He was, he was the same then. Yep. Up here. What have we got? Why? It's Thanks, nice mate. I got the it. Sun's here. We've got a hip drop up here. Because it's in that set, mate. Yep. Yeah, I got you, mate. Where are we going? Back here. Just back here. When? Yesterday. Just up here. No, it's here, mate. Ignore these if he keeps going any further. Murata. He might yeah. get Cindy. Thanks, mate. I'll, I'll deal with this. Oh, that's all right. Okay, I've got a hip drop there, mate, okay? You're on report. Ten minutes to Cindy. Oh, wow. That's, no. I don't think he's got that right. Wow, 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 wow. Mate, Teleco is pulling through the tackle. There's Just no right other there, place mate. for New Cora to be other than behind him. Well, here we go, the first half field goal. They'll kick this out and they'll kick a field goal. Geez, that was harsh. Here we go, Nico. Nico, first half field goal. No. They don't deal in ones here in the Shire, Gus. Moylan, Kennedy, Ramian, Katoa kicks through. 
Ramian's there. Ramian shouldn't have got that, but he did. Move on. And if they lay on him long enough, they'll get to the sheds. That's it. Half time. Well, how about that? A potentially devastating blow. Seconds out hold there. from half time with Murata near Corey Sinidin. He's just got the tackle. He's just got Wade. himself in an awkward position. Yeah. You see just Wade Egan out. asking our referee Ben Cummins he's got himself. what he's actually went on there. That, that's your opinion, but it has moment. been reviewed with other camera angles, angles. Okay. which we'll go through with the team at half time. But Cronulla 26 over the Warriors 12 in a high scoring affair in Sunday footy. Time to run here. It's been an entertaining game of footy. Cronulla. Definitely the dominant team. 14 points is a reachable margin. How about Royce Hunt? My goodness, that's a powerful run to start the second half. I'll just go down and check with Paul Gallon about the conditions. What's uh, Where's the wind now, mate? The wind's probably... I don't know where it's coming from. It's rolling around without a doubt. I'd, I'd say, look, I, I can't tell. I can't tell. Probably still from the northeast, but it's not, not really affecting anyone, to be honest. So there it is from the man who lives yeah. in the Bermuda Triangle and says he knows this place so well. I can't tell. Well, mate, he's got a mouthful of food. He's... <laughs> I can see him down here. I can see his cheeks moving. The way they do it, Gary, just pick up a little bit of grass and throw it up in the air. Right now! It Stay says southeasterly. It says it's in behind the Warriors. And I remember actually one day we got a shot of there were two flags next to each other blowing Stay towards now. each other. So. Hold him in. Yeah. Well, they took all the flags down now. All the units being built up there. The Bermuda Triangle. It's a beauty. He's Ale. Jack now! This is a determined Warriors team. We've seen that through the first month of the competition. And lesser teams would have submitted to the waves of attack they were subjected to in the first half. Yet 14 points is a credit to the visitors here as Volkman. Sends one in the air. That's a contest for the ball. Backwards. The ball's been spewed backwards, backwards. and it's dived upon Stand by down. Will Kennedy. That was a lucky call. He caught in front of him and the ball spewed backwards. A yeah, nice kick by Volkman. Just didn't put it too deep. Ah, mistake. There was so a rare error for ball. Brunella. Going in the middle here. Well, down to 12 men, the Warriors. I'm not sure what they can do in attack-wise that might trouble the Sharks' defence, but the more time they can spend in possession until they get back to their full complement of players will be helpful. There's the football gods looking after the knock-on earlier. Sometimes the football gods fix it for you. It would be a huge boost if they could score with a man down. Mm. Touches. Hold it, hold it, Bruton. Hold it, mate. OK, clock off. Well, Sean Johnson to the right. Nickel clocks to the left. It goes to the former. And he sends it straight to Pompey. Another one of those towering, hard running centres. Moylan, the last tackler. They're six metres out when he played the ball. The ball goes to Johnson now. And Dylan Walker. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Double there. No, no, you've knocked it on already. Didn't need that. Didn't need that. Okay. You need to adjust on the run there. It's all right if you're running at the defence and you take your player onto the line, but in that situation, the Sharks' defence was just... Okay, Blake, find it in, mate. Here we go. He's in control, moved up. There was no space at all for anyone. Break! Stand now, right here, Tom. Hold here. Hold. Another try this afternoon already for Sione Katoa. Oh, big Royce Hunt. Steamrolled oh. Walker. Release Wayne. Hold here, hold. He's just about the biggest bloke in the game. Him and Nelson, I reckon. He is an absolute beast of a thing. That's right here, boys, here. I'd love to see an arm wrestle between them. Oh, oh McInnes. Tom now! 
now Wilton. Good run. Inside Warriors territory. Hines with a juggle and he's able to, to dish it off to Moylan. Montoya with the catch. And they're pinned on their own 10 metre line. There's Nickel Krusta. It was daylight saving into the last night too. So a little bit darker now. The light's really taking effect here. In the second half of Sunday afternoon football. Blake up! Here boys make it zipper. Here, here. Three. Of course here, that's an excellent run from him. And a fast play the ball and that allows Jastavanga to pick up 15 nice metres or so. What a lovely boys, pass that was by Wade Egan. Johnson kicks high. The chase left. Oh, he's oh. dropped it. Johnson's got it. He's going to score after half time with a man down. That's the one you needed. Is that the footy gods? <laughs> That's the one you needed. Who was that? Ronaldo Molotalo has gone straight through his hands, hit him in the belly. And on the Osuzu MX replay. Johnson with the high kick, chased it himself, didn't stay back and admire his own work. Molotalo comes up with the fumble straight oh. into the hands of Johnson, who sprints around to score the try. That is a real bonus. Well, that's a good tactic by the Warriors. The last two kicks have been kicks that haven't gone that deep, that have brought the defenders and the catchers towards the Warriors coming forward. You hear the footsteps. the other people chase he kicked that and took off after it and he's there to pick up the spoils when the, when the balls drop what's this normally he would just kick this and just stand back and watch it no he's going to run down with his teammate they go down they yell they scream they bounce and put it up there and he comes up with the with the fumble i remember when andrew walker used to kick the ball like that and we'd run down just be laughing at the fullback just the ball was a mile in the air. Oh, Sean Johnson's laughing after that. He's converted Ooh. his own try. Game on. Two. Incredible. Ronaldo Mulatalo. He barely ever drops it. He takes some of the most spectacular catches and, and the put downs, of course, where he's suspended in midair. It's like the ball stuck to his hands. When you're ready, Blake, time on. And they've scored a try down to 12 men. New Cora has about two minutes 40 to go. Oh, jolting tackle. Up near, mark it straight. Hold here, hold. McInnes on Ale. Jess Tavanga runs towards Braley. Leave it, Blake. Here, boys, here. He's a wholehearted player. And another bit of trickery out of dummy half there boys from Egan out. to Nickel Krustar. They're running with purpose now, the Warriors. Here's Walker. Good run. Dylan Walker. They still haven't stopped him. How long till the Sinbear man comes back? Two minutes and eight seconds. This is a power pack set by the Warriors. Tavanga playing it now, and Wade Egan for Johnson. you got to get yourself together here, Ronaldo. There's another catch. Oh, he took that one okay. Now the Warriors have got to put some pressure on with their defence. Get up in their face. And... Oh, take Terra. Oh, Talakai! He's made a blue! How about this for a remarkable turnaround? Two basic errors by Cronulla. Wade, Wade. Three, actually, when you okay, think about the, the Katoa knock on at the play the ball just after half time. Incredible. She's very pedantic sometimes, the way we rule on how play the balls. He got a toe to it, rolled it backwards. Here we go, Johnson's on the left this time. Well, Chances on the right. There's a bit of shock around 
Points bet stadium here as Johnson goes away. Oh, that was a risky ball. There was almost a chance of an intercept from Ramian. Jesse Strike. Vilea. Tackle 12 out from Cronulla's line. Johnson for Dylan Walker. Doesn't he bring boundless energy? And he's still going here. These yeah, last two runs have been unreal. He's made a real home at lock forward, hasn't he? It's Johnson. And the pass to Arlo. Oh, Moylan one on one. Superb tackle. Tavanga, he bounced off Brayley. Stopped by Royce Hunt. Brayley came again to Sean Johnson. Takes on the line. A bit of the old school speed. And it's a bomb. He's cut down here. Egan. He nearly got there for his second. Last tackle. Volkman dinks to the end goal. It's a good kick. Great footy. Great pressure. Can't believe Egan didn't score that. Oh, how did he score? Johnson with the dummy, show and go, got back on the inside. We're back to 13 on 13 as well. Well, that's going to help as well. Oh, how does he score? Brilliant defence. Yeah, great defence. Just wondering whether the, the Sharks will go short here or try to kick seconds. it as far as they can. They're into the breeze, aren't they? OK, Nico. Yep. Well, we think so. Here come the Warriors. Oh, he's going long. Or as long as you can get it into that southerly. So here's Murad and Niakore. Well, who would have thought that they would close the gap with a man in the bin? They're finishing downhill, the Warriors. 65% of the ball after half time. Tavanga has been enormous. Walker, immense. And Ale, wholehearted. 12 metres short. Ball goes right from Egan. Johnson. And out to Adam Pompey, who's nearly between them here. Talakai doesn't want to give away it. A set restart. A dummy in a run now from Corsi. Can they force another six again? Johnson, along the ground he goes. Oh, Nico Hines has spilt it. He got there just grounded. in time and grounded it. Grounded here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. They're under the pump, the Sharks. Well, what would a try for the Warriors do right now? Well, still a long time ago. Shortly. We're taking to within two points, Gal. Yeah, guys, as you know, tries give you energy. And ever since the Warriors scored that try from that Renato Mill Tullahera, they've, they've had all the energy, all the running through them at the moment. The Sharks do well to hold them out here. Vanilla Blake thrown back out there now. What a game we've got now in Sunday footy. The Warriors showing enormous fortitude. Johnson out the back, great hands. A chance for Corsi! He's over! Well, they've slingshotted the slingshotters. Lovely work play. Watch the worst of Johnson here and Dylan Walker on the inside. Nice little interchange from them and that gives them the chance to slingshot to the outside. A Suzu MUX replay. Compress them up, get the ball to the outside. Lovely hands from Nickel Clockstart. And on to Corsi, who reaches out and puts the ball down. The Warriors are right back in this. Well, Talakai did the right thing on the Zuzu MUX replay, and Mulatalo didn't follow him in. If he follows him in, he makes the tackle easy. Yeah, the, the Sharks cover defence coming across. Talakai did what the Warriors weren't doing in the first half. They were sitting on their heels. He come flying off the line. And Corsi, six foot four, oh. breaks the Moylan tackles and just stretches out over the top of Teague Wilden. Oh, and gobbing off as well. So it was 20 nil and it was 26 six. And Johnson has a chance to make it 26 24. Now remember, remember that it was 12 nil after three minutes after three minutes. Mm. So since that time, the Warriors have actually outscored them 22 to 14, maybe 24 to 14, as Johnson lines up this kick from out wide. The former Shark, Sean Johnson. Yep. Yes. 
We've got a two-point game in Sunday footy. Good Friday footy at Acor Stadium. The Rabbitohs to take on the Bulldogs in what will be an Easter classic. Tune in from 3 p.m. right here on the home of Rugby League Nine's Wide World of Sports. Of course, before that, the Bulldogs have got a game to get over this evening. They're hosting the Cowboys. Good Friday footy. We've got a couple of games coming your way. Always jam-packed with footy Easter weekend. Viliami kick out, Gus, not playing tonight. No, he's not playing tonight. He's not playing next Friday either. He's part of the 11-day mandatory stand-down. Misses two games. Was it a bad one? Oh! Bad enough, apparently. Bailey Sirenan. And Dylan Walker. So what's going through the Cronulla Sharks' heads right at the moment? You lead 20 nil. You lead 26 to 12 at half time against a 12-man side. Now you lead by two, and you look up, and there's a long way to go. He's been good, Nickel Clouster. And Johnson, the conductor. Ronaldo took that one easily. Oh, but they're down there, full of energy. Down, <laughs> There's Corsi trying to oh. just add a little bit of extra impact in the tackle. They've had a, a, a tense battle, haven't they? This is hard. This is a hard part of the oh. game for Cronulla. Release Bailey! Because individually you want to do things, but the key is you've got to work with other people. Work in numbers. Work in numbers. Well, what it's done is made the crowd very nervous, hasn't it? Crowd's been pretty quiet, I think. Fanukin's mm. back on the ground during this little nice period. Mark it. Yeah, yeah. He's the steadier. And here's Hines. A testing kick here. Nickel Clouster has got to come forward. He dropped it. He dropped. He's offside to Vilea. But uh, instead of a penalty, he's restarted the tackle count here for Cronulla. That was a very tough assignment for Nickel Clouster. Smart kick, Hines. Here's Rudolph. Does a Sharks try snuff out the Warrior momentum? Bailey sends it left for Nuka to Moylan and out the back to Talakai and Ronaldo is going to go over untouched. That just looks so easy. So easy. Every time they run this slingshot play, the Warriors are found out down the edges, both sides of the field. There's some going off from Militalo now. <laughs> yeah. It'll all come from the Nico Hines kick. We're wondering how they're going to get into it. And here's the, the try scoring play. Fanukin goes to the line. Moylan makes the right decision. And once again, the right side, the defence, they just make no decision. They make no decision. The Azuzu MUX replay, like shelling peas. Well, the best part is they get in position early. They recognise it. They know what player they're running against. They know which players to put pressure on on the inside of the defence to make it hard for the outside part of the defence. And they've got these beautiful fullback, centre, winger combinations that just nail it. You don't. But they, they don't, don't move, guys. Like, it's like a training. It's like yeah, I know. They it's don't like move. the defenders at training where they don't want to come up and hurt anyone, so well, they just. Yep. Mm. Like the Warriors are doing nothing. Putting pressure on no one. What they've got to do is go up every play and stop watching what's happening on the inside. Just go forward. Go forward. Take your first three or four steps really quickly. Big kick this. Then you'll be in better position. Big kick this. He has nailed them all today. Hines from near touch for an eight-point margin now. It's starting to swing. No. He's left it out there. 30-24. We're kicking off a massive... At Easter, long weekend of NRL footy with the Storm taking on the Roosters oh. live at Amy Park. Bring that on. Don't miss all the action across the Easter weekend right here on Nine's Wide World of Sports. Now, the Roosters lose Teddy. Joey Manu comes back. Storm got anyone coming back? Uh, Hughes. Hughes is back. Hughes is back. Time out run here. Hughes Ooh. back at home. How good. Well, I tell you that the last 22 minutes of this is going to be pretty enthralling as well. 
anything can happen. Well, the ball's come out here, gone backwards. Clearing. Anything can happen here. You wouldn't know. So Craig Fitzgibbon's got his two no-nonsense toilers out there. McKinnis and Finucane. And there's Wilton. Finds for Nicara. Jackson now! Here's Nico. So tries to sell a dummy, got the pass back now, and Toby Rudolph, a bit of fractured defence around the middle there for the Warriors, but they regathered themselves. Yeah, they got their mojo back. Moylan now, Ronaldo chasing. It's Ronaldo and Corsi again. Oh, he's got the ball, he gave it to Nicol Kloostar, he juggled and he's tackled in goal. Oh, my God. Oh, penalty. Oh, it's penalty, Cronulla. They're holding Militalo back. The battle continues, Corsi and Militalo. <laughs> Escort, escort. On who? Uh, Edward. Yeah. Just watch the winger for the Warriors. Hold in, mate. Just wait there. Wait there. You can't grab people. Go on here. Wait can't wait, use your wait, hand. Wait. Go. Well, here we go. Can the Warriors defence get it right this time? Badukin working with Hines, Moylan and Katoa. Now it came shooting out there, Montoya. Yeah, but that was good pressure. It was something. Now Fanukin. She's a player. He just goes and goes and goes, doesn't he? And it out! He got the good batteries. Yeah. And Rudolph, tackle four, slingshot time. Hines into the line, no, they're going to try and batter their way there. They can't. And Dylan Walker at the forefront of the defensive effort. Last play, Hines now, short pass, Talakai trying. Good defence, they've the protected their line well. Here, boys, here, here. here. Yeah, it's not the worst end of a set of six. Ooh. Him, well, these are tough runs. Cameron! Pompey straight into the teeth of the Sharkies' defence. Stuck in the mud. Oh, Maradonia Corey gets crunched. Yeah. And Bailey Sirenen. Wilton uh, put himself in the wrong spot there. I think he's all right. And now Nickel Kloostar. So they're on the 30. Hold here, hold Cameron. He'll play it, and Johnson is the kicker. Wilton comes chasing out to apply pressure to you. Got a good whack on that, Johnson. That's a massive kick. But it's straight to Kennedy. We've still got 20 minutes, or the best part of left here. Six points, the difference. Live ladder there right at the moment. The Sharks have leapfrogged the Warriors on the premiership ladder. Release! Only five weeks in, of course, but still a long way to go in this one. Oh, near Bailey here. Kennedy in the first receiver, playing across to McKinnis. Jackson Space. They go over the 40-metre line. Here's Hines now, and Moylan joining in. And good read by Johnson. Pompey with some help there as well. Last tackle. He's going to kick for Ronaldo once again. Ronaldo v Corsi and Nicol Kloostar there too. Well taken by Chance. Now, now, right here, Toby, Toby. You've got to have a short memory to be a fullback, don't you? Brad or a winger. You think about Ronaldo drop one, then Nicol Kloostar drop one, and they put him straight now, under the pump here, Toby, again, and they sure, take them. We should have microphones on those players over the other side of the field. Well, we need a delay. Toby out, straight there. Hold him, mate. Cameron, Cameron. Now, yeah, Josh Curran. First time we've seen him in the game. Another great defensive set by the Sharks. Johnson kicks flat, finds open paddock. 
Kennedy will go to Katoa. Good kick chase by the Warriors. How are you feeling about this, Gus? Well, it's right in the balance at the moment. I think it's one of those ones where the next score is really important. They're going to have the momentum into the last 10 minutes or so. Well, they're an effort area. They're an effort team, Carmel. The tackle two, the whole team was back behind the ball. All of a sudden, you've got to spread your defence a little bit further. Josh, up! Just puts a little bit more pressure on you. Maybe a one-on-one -on -one tackle. Nice one, Nick. Nice one, Reintroduced by Craig Fitzgibbon. Now, Hines, this will be a repeat of the previous kick where Chan shelled it. It is. He's got to make ground. He's under pressure. That's so good. We'll see with the Warriors how many tackles it takes them get, to get behind the ball. Here's a run by Curran. Here comes Space. Here, boys, here. Uh, wait for it. Go to. They're behind the ball, but they're in a bunch. Look at that. You can throw a hanky over them. And that's not going to do anything to the Sharks' defence. You want to run one out and stand that bunch. You're just letting the opposition rest. Now they start to fan out a little bit. That gives them one tackle to attack. Yeah, but with no real... With no real shape to actually put anything on. They're kind of in protection mode at the moment. Johnson whacks this in the air. Katoa settled underneath it and took it well, but that's a, a good kick chase, isn't it? They've jammed them down here, but uh, Montoya, is it? Yes. He's come out of that a bit scratchy. Down to Gal. Yeah, guys, it's going to be interesting to see this last 16 minutes how both teams use their interchange. Braden Trindle is still on the bench for the Sharks, has not gotten on yet, and there's only two interchanges to go for them. So we'll wait and see if Bradley plays the 80 minutes, whether he gets on and hopefully uh, cuts him over the last 10 minutes. Yeah, it's an interesting scenario, that one, isn't it? Half back on the bench, he obviously offers a bit of utility value, but his form's been sizzling throughout the first month. Well, you only get him into the game if there's an injury. You're not going to bring Nico Hines or Moylan off the field. If they're fitting well. Oh, it's a miss kick. So you're virtually going with 15, 16 on the bench and back up in case one of your halves goes down injured. I think maybe it's putting pressure on, on Moylan. They, they did lose a front rower and replaced it with a half. I was figuring maybe it's a message to the 5'8", Matt Moylan. Gal. Tr Trindle's played a fair bit of footy at Hooker Boy, so he can go in the middle of the field if Bradley needs a rest. OK. Thanks, Gal. This is an absorbing game. Now, Volkman's come off the field, and Jess Tavunga's gone back out. Then Nicol Kustar gives the ball away. Pompey's been missed there by Talakai. Help! Help! Release! Jess Tavunga straight towards Blake Braley. Blake, last one! Marcus! From Nukem part of the tackle also. Johnson's down the right-hand side, pops it up in the air. More pressure on Ronaldo Mulatalo. Oh, he shot another one! Another one. Get the microphones in there. You cannot believe it. That was such a simple one, too. What, let me know what you're doing, mate. Just wait. Just... So he gets, he's got his hands down around his waist which means the ball goes past his eyes before he touches it or catches it. Nearly identical to the last one. Yeah, Pom Pompey in front, wasn't Sean Johnson. I'm not an expert, but you've got to get your hands up in front of your face. Now, this is a pivotal period of the game right here. The Warriors gifted more possession. Adam Fanua Blake. Okay, Will Space. We could be locked up in a moment. The Sharks. Being stretched on their line here. The ball to Nickel Kloostar. Moylan got across. And uh, who's that speared over the top? It's Wilton. He's, doing it. he's on, standing on his head. Wait there, wait there. Wait, I locked in. Sean Johnson for Jazz Tabunga, for Dylan Walker. And the ball to Jackson Ford. Hold here, boys. Hold here. Play the ball. Hines down the bottom. Nicker up top six more. Oh, Egan's giving it away. It's a knock on, on by Cronulla. Oh, I thought he'd thrown it away with the tackle count restart. Did he say Hines Where? knocked that on? Brayden. Challenge. Challenge. Yeah, challenge. How long did I go? I think Hines actually touched the hand. They tackle four. Captain's challenge. 
Cronulla are challenging the knock-on from Braden Hamlin Welly. Oh, no. He's saying the front row. Got to handle. Covering the ball. Britt Nakora hits the arm of the Warriors player. Yeah, that's a knock-on. Just looking to determine if Braden knocks a ball on on the ground. Of course he does. And which direction the ball goes after that ball is knocked out of the possession of the Warriors player. Front row shouldn't be able to challenge either. Big that's call. A, that's a knock on. That's just a knock on. Without a doubt. <laughs> right there. Yeah, but another look, his, Brad. Left, his left hand touches it, and there's space yeah. between there, right there. So the ball goes backwards from Gal. the Warriors oh. as Braden tries no way, to Freddy. scoop the ball no in. The way. ball actually rolls forward after Told hitting you, his arm. No the way. Challenge is Told you, Gal. Mate, his hand never left the Gal. ball. No. Take it up with the bunker, Gal. Just over here. Just over here. Just being reviewed, mate. You blokes wouldn't have survived in the 80s. Just confirm we got Warriors one challenge left. No way that's a knock on. You blokes would not have survived in the 80s. Gus, is that a knock on? Just wait No. Thank you. Knock on. In the 80s, get up, play on, get on with the game. Now we'll have 20 looks with the camera and settle down. And well, in the 80s, I would have penalised Nakora for slapping at the hand. OK. Scrum won by the Warriors. Dylan Walker to Sean Johnson. And now Charles Nickel Kluster. He's been everywhere today. Now Tavanga. This has been a monumental performance by the Warriors. And they're still there. Sirenen. Up now, Blake. Five metres out, centre field. Out the back to Johnson. Karen, yes! He's a good player, this kid. Oh, he's a player. He's a real good player. Look at the rain coming down there. Paul Gallen didn't give us that in the weather report. It's teaming down out there at the moment. Watch Josh Curran. No fear, this kid. He's a real competitor. Isuzu, MUX replay. Watch this. Get out of my way. Bang. Just blows Moylan's inside shoulder off. They got him in round the, the first half, and they've got him again. Look how deep he is, Curran. Steams onto it. Head down. Stop me if you can. Bang. They'd actually taken Volkman off when Curran came on. Curran's a type of player that can ball play as well as be a whole runner. Sirenen also playing as a ball player. Bigger men, big mobile men, all running off Wade Egan and Sean Johnson. He's got a kick nearly directly in front, Gal. He does, I probably hit the lead here. And, uh, look, that's poor defense from Matt Mullen. They, they ripped his inside shot off in the first half. But on that play there, there was no one out. There was no one really at the back. The player was already gone, so he should have just known he had to take the whole runner, Curran, and uh, once again missed the tackle for another try. So poor defence there from the Sharks. Well, we're all locked up. Oh. As long as he gives this one little straight poke, just concentrate, mate. One little straight poke. Here we go. Blink. up at 30. Remember after three minutes the Sharks led 12 mil. Remember the Warriors have been down to 12 men just before Everybody half time. Here, boys, it's now 30 all and I'm prepared to say if the Warriors win this, this might be one of the greatest wins I've Together. ever seen in their history. Here, boys, here, make it. Okay, so this has been on build on guts and, and composure too. They've never looked Pick flustered the whole time. The defences looked ordinary but they've never looked flustered. They've never given up on the game. 
And they've done this without Tamari Martin, without Tyler Harris, 40-20. 40-20, Johnson. Oh, no, just he missed it. He doesn't angle it. Just missed it. He's down there chasing. And Curran, the try scorer, yeah, leading the way. They couldn't have, if, if they win, look, there's 10 minutes to go. In the context oh! of this game, that's an eternity. If they win this, they could never have had a better win than this. They're not playing any mugs out there. And, it, and they're in the Bermuda Triangle. Well, they were down 26 to 6. So they've scored 24 to 4 since that time. Here's Cameron McInnes. The Warriors' biggest comeback ever was from 21 points down versus the Raiders in 2021. Here's that kick. Now, Nickel Kluster, he's got to make some ground. It's wet, it's pouring out there. He has been very, very good. Emma, they love turning up to the footy rain, hail or shine here. How many here this afternoon? 10,878, Matt. But I tell you what, they've gone a little bit quiet at the moment. So the Sharkies are going to need every single one of those fans screaming at the top of their lungs as loud as they can to get them home in these last nine minutes. Yes, well, they're normally pretty vocal down here, but I'd worry since, since the second half started, they've been quite sedate. And I can understand why now. Have they still got the breeze? Because if we get into field goal shootouts, that's a big advantage. Here's Johnson. They've given him plenty of room to run before he kicks. Could be and you two. guessed it. Could be Ronaldo. He's got his foot back in the end goal. Smart work. Yeah, too deep. From the moment it came off his boot, it's always come, going to come down to inches. Got a 20 metre here. And that breeze behind Johnson. He'll look at it, he'll look at it. Just forced yep. it in goal. And that's a seven tackle set. He'd like that I'll one again. On I'm not sure it's happened to Ronaldo. I think he's on got report. an accidental knee here from Joshy Curran. Josh Curran, on report. Oh, Just really? used to the knees. We'll stay out here on the 20 metre. The world's largest rugby league festival magic round is back in Brisbane from May 5. To seven, if you haven't done a magic round, you must. Tickets selling fast. Grab yours today. NRL.com slash tickets. Seven tackle set. It's just over eight minutes left. Jackson! Wait here, not here. Milking, Milking. It's going to be Johnson versus Hines in a field goal shootout. In the wet. Well, it's a good test for Nico Hines. You know how good he is when he's got the wind in his sails, but here we go down with a tight finish. And he's got to manufacture his troops around. Here's a kick nice on kick. tackle three. Nice kick. Nickel Kluestar knew it was coming, and he's beaten the first line of defence and nearly passed. Oh, he got bent over awkwardly there, Chance. But Hines is there to make the tackle with Ramey and yes, Gal. I was going to ask Gus, in these conditions, with the rain now pouring down, Sharks had a seven tackle set there. That was only tackle three. I thought they could have maybe set for the one point. Do you take it earlier? Wait for the end, Gus. I take it whenever you can get it, but you've got to be patient too. You don't want to be giving seven tackle sets away to your opposition. I don't know how strong that breeze is or how close they'll have to get, but I don't mind the early kick under these conditions. This is why. You know, if you're just waiting to play your tackle count out, you can come up with mistakes. Yeah, he didn't get the kick right. It had to go deeper and he had to get close to the Ronaldo! Top. He got it. Josh up! See, these back men are earning their money in this weather, aren't they? Yeah, I don't like the, the, the fact that he catches that ball so far down on his waist. I'd much rather his hands were up. Wow. Who blinks first here? A mistake could be terminal. Well, it's been good. We had a draw yesterday for the first time in years. A couple of years since we've had a... Good run, Brayley. A draw at the oh, end of the caught the six again there. Wade Egan just onside. Hines to Ramian. He palms off Walker, but he comes again. Last Too far out here. Lock in. Here, here. Hikura rushed into acting half. Hines bangs it in the air. It's uh, towards Corsi. Takes it. Submits. Jesus, it's dark. Yeah. I need to turn some more lights on. <laughs> Daylight saving ended there. Well. Everyone get their cameras out and put the torch on. <laughs> they need to get more powerful globes. <laughs> Here's Nickel Kluestar. He has run it. He's been remarkable after half time. Oh, he's got a problem. Out at G. I hope it's not a knee. Three. 
Can you jeer check for a mate, possible hip rock? Oh. <laughs> Just, just wait. Yeah, just boys. Boys, just... Oh. This would be a penalty, I think. At least. Hey? He's just getting... Just getting treated, mate. Yeah. Well, if the... Oh. If the Neocore one was a 10-minute sin bin, if, if, if you're... Yep. If that's a precedent, this has to be too, doesn't it? Yep. Well, yeah. no, no, didn't seem very dangerous at the time, and no, he's he got 10 out. minutes in the sim bin. And you've got so an he injured player here. Yeah. Okay. If all's equal, Dale Finucane will be done for the rest of the game. It's a hip drop. Here we go. No, he is gone. in the bin. Oh. Wow. And so that's 5 yeah, minutes mate, 47 you, you to go. To go. So he wouldn't be... Win, allowed back into the game at least until the second part of extra time, if we go into extra time. Thanks, Jay. Just wait there, Mike. Wow. Well, he was forced into sending him in the Simbin for the call in the first half. Yeah. Oh, he's oh has he found touch? And they kept it, it in! Good. Remarkable! Could we have any more twists and turns here? This is pink. Whoa! He bounced off him too, Curran. Right that was triangle. huge. The Bermuda Triangle, baby. Anything can happen. Look at them try to force an error here. The Warriors are rushing. Talakai tackled. There's a Sharky's champ. Oh, no. Neocore's come reeling out of that. He's in trouble. He's stumbled. He's gone. Is that yeah? Oh, three, three. He it, got up and stumbled. Murata near Corey. Um, yeah, we'll tackle three, Blake. Oh, Clear, that's mate. Clear, mate. He's toe on the line. Look at his toe on the line. Is that the right mark there? Tackle three oh. when we restart. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure who touched the ball, but Molotalo definitely looked like he had his toe oh. on the line. Kennedy was also there. It was hard to see who touched the ball. So, near Cora. Okay, three. This way there, mate. Clashed heads with his teammate. Well, he's out there for the minute, but I'd be stunned if he's there for much longer because he definitely I'd like stumbled to... as he got up. But Hamlin Uele oh! now. Release Bailey! I'm not sure how near Cora's nose was before the game, but it's definitely bent. Last one, Bailey McInnes up. is dragged he's down. Here, here. Here's Hines. Here's the kick. Here's Nickel Kluster. Here's the chasing brigade. He takes it nicely. He actually had some numbers on the outside there if he wanted to take the odds to it, but he played it safe, Charles Nickel Kluster. Oh, an error. An error costs you the game, doesn't it? Now, what about the pressure out there now in the driving rain? This is footy at its best. Jackson Ford tackled. Jazz Tavanga. Nice run. Quick play the ball. Egan for Dylan Walker. And he gives it away here to Billy Army by layer. Oh, he just absolutely dispensed of Nico Hines. Last tackle. Johnson's calling the ball. He doesn't got time. Up it goes. Bailey, Bailey. Kennedy the man. Bailey. There's a great kick, Chasey, from the Bailey Warriors. Oh. Four, less than four to go. Cronulla. Running out of yardage. Here, boys, come on, make it, make it. This has been an unbelievable game. Up now, Wayne. You got your overtime sheet ready, Gus? Yeah, I've just rung the nine newsroom, told them to wait. We're not finished yet. Space, space. Hines to Moylan, and out to Raymond. Oh! Look out, Ramey in the lead through. Walker got across here, he hasn't been held here. They play on, it's Katoa. Sioni Katoa, away to Will Kennedy. Kennedy oh. kicks through. They could have had a shot at field goal if he took the tackle. Charles Nickel Clouster with an unbelievable pickup in the conditions. That is unbelievable. What about Nickel Clouster there? Here, here, Bruce. Bruce. I think Will Kennedy would like that moment again. Oh, wouldn't he? What? 
under three minutes. Warriors have got to get the ball to the other end. Good run. Oh, that's a run. That's the run to that's kick. That's a run. Leaving two on the deck. Get the ball. Oh, he's out. Oh, they had a case for six again there, but that's not given. The 40. Johnson kicks. Sionic Katoa. Oh! Stop it! <laughs> Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> Now, Ramian. Well, you think if he gets a chance, Nico, it's going to be from around that 40 metre line. Uh, into the breeze. I couldn't imagine it. Oh. We're at tackle three oh. now. They've just got to make two more, the Warriors. Here's Wilton. That's a strong run. Hines, they're going to try the slingshot. It's brought try so far. Great tackle, Montoya. Taking 78 minutes. Where was that an hour ago? 16 seconds. <laughs> Where was that an hour ago? Well, he Here's go. He goes back to Moylan and back to Kennedy. They've got numbers here, Cronulla. Kennedy with a dummy. He beat Fanua Blake. Fanua Blake comes again. The offload was effective. Here's Nico. Hines gives it away. Braley out the back. Ball on the ground. Curran's going to take it through. Curran's going to race after it against Moylan. Oh, Moylan's got the ball back. Six more tackles. Oh. Oh. And, and a pass. The Warriors. Well, he's called, got that he's the pushed the line. Warrior off the ball. He's got that call from the yep. sideline. Josh Curran, what, what a play. It, Just kept pressuring Who? the ball. The ball Royce went I think it was Royce Hunt. Wow. Off the fingertips of Royce Hunt. Well, they got what no doing? challenge. They've got two. no challenge. Oh, they're going to take a goal kick. Of course. Well, they got it. They've got of it. Of course they are. Sean Johnson's been getting his heart rate down for the last 30 seconds, just taking deep breaths. Yeah, now, which Cronulla here? player? Oh, is it his, that one? Well, he grabbed just his shot. Yeah. And then there was a push on the way down. That's a penalty. Oh, Sean Johnson, come on down. That's a penalty. To probably confirm... Come on. The greatest on, Warriors win in their club history. Well, it's certainly close to that. This, well, is, this has been absolutely back. incredible. They've given the Sharks 12 start, playing the Sharks at home, seemingly with no answer to the Sharks' attack halfway through the game. The Sharks were just scoring at will. But they've willed their way back into the contest, sometimes with 12 men. And now Sean Johnson, the former Shark, came from the Warriors to the Shark, Eventually gets back home where he belongs, and he's got an opportunity on the bell to win the game for his team from 37 metres out, pretty much right in front. The breeze over his right shoulder. Oh. And this is to send everyone home from the game who lives in the Shire a little bewildered. Wow. Johnson with one of the kicks of his club career, I'd reckon. It will... 36 metres just to the right. But pressure is a funny thing. The rain pouring. The former Shark to break Cronulla Hearts. Johnson has kicked it! 32-30! 30. 30 seconds to go. 20 seconds to go. The time's been called off. It'll be a short kickoff. What a kick by Johnson. Time to run. Stand by for 20 seconds of chaos. Hines resumes. The ball is, it's a scrap. It's a, it's a penalty to Cronulla. Oh, get what? out. No. Unbelievable. What? Can we got a challenge. challenge. Can this game get any crazier? Oh. Gee, Warriors challenging. The offside call on Sean Johnson. Oh. He makes a play of the ball. Well, they've called it offside. There's hands everywhere. We've cleared that they're onside from the kickoff. If it's touched the Warrior, he's offside. And it's gone forward from the Warriors it's onto Johnson. Even if he didn't get the first touch, he's, it's definitely come into contact. Yeah. Yeah. The ball clearly comes off the Warriors player hands. 
This is a tough kick. Oh, he can't, oh. he can't kick it from out there, This surely. is a tough kick. Into the breeze. And when Sean Johnson touches the ball, he's in an offside position. The challenge is unsuccessful. Oh, this <laughs> is Nico Hines. How are you feeling? You said before, when he like hits, him, he he hits him, he hits him as well as anyone. Yeah. Well, this, this is a long kick. What's he, 31 okay. metres out and he's over on the sideline. So do your mathematics on how far this reviewed, kick actually mate. is. Oh, there. Oh, there goes Does the anyone know what that is? Yeah, yeah that <laughs> comes into play. It's, it's the best part of 40... 40, 45 metres, yeah. I, reckon. I reckon. There's the siren just to add a bit more drama. It's 45 metres into the breeze. Directly into the breeze. Sure Remember, you've got to catch it too, because if it comes down in the field of play, the Sharks will be teaming through after it. Yeah. I'm not sure what the Warriors are doing. They should be back towards the goalpost. Now, if Nico Hines wasn't already the most popular bloke in Cronulla, he will be if he kicks this. What an extraordinary game. It's incredible. What? Well, if there was two 32 all draws on a weekend, that would be a first, I'm assuming, Mr. Well, Middleton. So this for Golden Point. It's a big kick. Long kick. The Dally M Player of the Year. One of the best in the world. Nico Hines. To give us overtime. It's not coming around. And the Warriors have got the ball back. And they have capped off a remarkable victory. From 12-0 down after three minutes, they have won Sunday football 32-30.